Hello everyone. So as you all know that the GATE exam is fast approaching. We have specially brought to you this video in which we will be discussing everything that you need to know about GATE exam and its importance. The GATE or the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering is a national level examination conducted by Indian Institute of Science Bangalore along with the seven IITs which includes IIT Bombay, Delhi, Guwahati, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras and Roorkee. So it is mainly conducted to check one's knowledge of the undergraduate subjects, especially the engineering and the sciences based on which higher studies admissions are provided and sometimes even jobs. The organizing institute for GATE 2021 will be IIT Bombay. This exam is generally conducted in the month of February and the applications are usually out in the month of September. So for all the important details related to the GATE 2021, do not forget to look the description box. Every year more than 8 lakh candidates write the GATE exam. So now you will be wondering what is all this fuss about the GATE exam? Why should one even prepare several months trying to crack this exam? Well, the time that you will spend for preparing this exam is all worth it. So let us look at the top 5 reasons as to why you should write the GATE exam. So the first reason is if you are able to qualify the GATE exam by writing the food technology section in the XC or the Excel, you are eligible to take admission in some of the top colleges across India for pursuing MTech in food technology such as IIT Guwahati, IIT Kharagpur, ICT Mumbai, Niftam, NIT Raurkela and many more. So for more details related to the top colleges in India providing MTech in food technology, do not forget to check this video in which we have discussed almost everything that you might need to know before choosing a college. We will make sure to leave the link in the description box. So second coming on to the second reason is that qualifying the GATE exam makes you eligible for certain financial assistance ships and scholarships and certain other government scholarships. So for example, AICTE provides a stipend of Rs 12,400 to all those students who pursue MTech and food technology by qualifying the GATE exam. Coming on to the third advantage is that not only for the masters but also for the PhD admissions GATE can be helpful. So yes, you can take admission in PhD programs through the AICT doctoral fellowship scheme. Under the scheme, full-time meritorious research scholars are selected in the 12 main identified thrust areas, one of which is smart technologies for agriculture and the food industry. So some of the colleges which offer PhD in this thrust area include ICT Mumbai and Tezpur University. So the admission opportunities for the, uh, by the gate are not only limited to India, even sometimes some of the foreign universities might also consider the gate score. So now moving on to the last advantage of the gate, the advantages are gate are not only limited to the academic front but also to the employment opportunities. So for example, BIS invited applicants for the post of scientist B in the month of February for which there was a salary of Rs 87,000. Now for the post of scientist B in the food technology discipline, candidates with a valid GATE score were eligible. Also for the recruitment of BARC that is Bhava Atomic Research Center, a Excel GATE score is required. So yes, some of the government op employment opportunities involve having a GATE score. So for any more details regarding the government job opportunities in the food sector, do not forget to watch this video for which again we will make sure to leave the link in the description box. So now coming on to the eligibility criteria for the GATE exam. So all those who are graduated or in the final year of their undergraduation are eligible to write this exam. Also, a major change brought for the GATE 2021 by IIT Bombay is that even the students who are in third year of their undergraduate program are now eligible to write the GATE exam. Also, in case you graduated many years ago and you still wish to write the GATE exam, you need not worry since there is no upper age limit for this exam. Also, there is no limit to the number of attempts as well. So for more details regarding the eligibility criteria, do not forget to check the description box. The total number of subject papers for the GATE 2021 is 27. But since there is no separate stream for the food technology, the food technology candidates can write this exam either in the XC or in the Excel in which food technology is one of the sections. 
so before we go further in case you have not subscribed do not forget to subscribe now and hit the bell icon since the upcoming video we will be discussing almost everything that you might need to know about the gate xc as well as the excel examination so coming on to the gate format there will be a total of four sections in the gate exam the first section is the general aptitude which is compulsory for all the streams of the gate and that section will make up total 15% of the gate exam so the remaining 85% will be the remaining three sections of the exam so the second section is again a compulsory one which will either be chemistry in case you have chosen the excel exam or it will be engineering mathematics if you have chosen the xc exam also in case you are looking for previous year solve question papers again you can find the link to our videos in the description box so after the first two compulsory subjects there are two other optional subjects which can be chosen from the given subject options these subjects will be discussed in detail in our upcoming video the exam comprises a total of 65 questions which will make up total of 100 marks the type of questions will be either objective type or numerical type so talking about the numerical type question we can have either one marks or two marks numerical type question for both of them there will be no negative marking but for the objective type of question again we will be have having either one marks or two marks question but for these there will be a negative marking that is in case a candidate selects a wrong answer one by three marks will be deducted so for the one marks question there will be a negative marking of 0.33 and for a two marks question there will be a negative marking of 0.66 the result for the gate exam will generally be out after one month the examination is held the results will show the total marks scored by the candidate the gate score as well as the all india rank also the cut off for the various categories will be given the validity of the score is from 3 years from the date of announcement of the results and the scorecard will be issued only to the qualified candidates if you have any more doubts related to the gate exam please feel free to comment below you can also reach out to us anytime on our social media handles of instagram facebook as well as linkedin we hope that this video was helpful to you and before we end in case you have not subscribed do not forget to subscribe now and hit the bell icon since the upcoming videos will be a complete guide to the gate exam as well as to many other important areas of the food technology So do not forget to like and share this video since it might be helpful for many gate aspirants out there. Team Foodemy wishes you a very good luck for the upcoming gate exam. Thank you for watching.